Rafa, a 14th Monte Carlo semi-final awaits, but boy, that first set was so critical. Four times you had to recover from a break. He really had to dig deep in that first one, especially, didn't you? Yeah, it had been a very tough uh, first set, uh, physically and mentally too. No? Uh, losing the, the first three games with myself had been uh, tough, but, but well, I, I find a way at uh, the right time. No? I was lucky with that 4-1 that he had two points to to be 5-1, and with 5-1, almost impossible. No? But I was la lucky to escape that moment, and then I, I played better. No? Um, I finished the first set playing well, started the second well, then I I played a terrible game uh, serving for the match. But uh, yeah, very happy to be to be through. So me being in the semifinals again here means a lot to me after uh, all the things that happened last last times. It was a lot more comfortable for you against Guido in the French Open last year. I wonder, he's just about to break into the top 30. How has his game evolved over the last 12 months, do you think? Well, he's the number 12 in the in the race this year. No, uh, I just checked it before the match. So uh, he's playing a great season and winning a lot of matches on clay, playing uh, one final, winning in Sao Paulo, playing our semifinals in, Monte in Buenos Aires. So a lot of matches in a row for him. No, So he's plenty of confidence. And um, yeah, have been a typical clay court match. Uh, it sometimes helps to be on rhythm. And uh, yeah, happy to, to be through. I, I hope this, this match will help me. It's going to be Borna or, or Fabio tomorrow. I mean, how impressed have you been with the way they've been playing this week? Yeah, both are playing so good. No, uh, going to be a tough one. They are, uh, they are there because they beat against uh, great players, so playing so well. So any opponent will be very tough.